in this cypress tutorial we are going to see how to run the cypress automation test in the different browsers so there are two ways by using the cypress test runner we can execute the cypress test in the different browsers that's a first way and a second way is by using the command prompt and by using this particular command we can execute the cypress automation test in the different browsers so let's try to run the cypress automation test by using the cypress test runner in the different browsers so here i will navigate to the test runner so currently my tests are getting executed in the firefox browser if you see here so firefox is displayed on the top left also it is displayed the firefox browser so if i click on run all test so it is going to execute the test in the chrome sorry guys so it is going to execute the test in the firefox browser currently so it is running my test and if you look at here so our test is getting passed now i want to run my cypress automation test in the chrome browser simply you can go to this particular drop down and here if you want to run your test in the edge browser you can select the edge so in my case i want to run my cypress test in the chrome browser so simply i will select the chrome browser so that's it so automatically it is going to launch the chrome browser with with all the test and if you see here so chrome is being controlled by automated test software and also here you can see here also you can see observe that so chrome is displayed so currently our tests are getting executed in the chrome browser so similarly you can try it for the edge browser and also you can try it for the electron browser so this is the first way how you can run cypress test in the different browsers the second way is by using the command line we can execute the cypress automation test in the different browsers so simply we have to use this particular command npx cypress run and hyphen hyphen browser edge for example if you want to execute your test on the edge browser you can specify edge here for example if you want to execute your test on the chrome simply specify the browser name here and after that hyphen hyphen headed so that it will open the browser and it will execute the cypress test and followed by that we have to specify the hyphen hyphen spec and here we have to specify the dot js file path so let's let's enter this particular command so here i'll say so let me just resize the window here so here i will enter npx followed by that cypress run hyphen hyphen browser and followed by that we have to specify the browser name so here i will specify this time edge only so next time we will specify it as the chrome and space we have to specify the headed and hyphen hyphen spec and here we have to enter the dot js file path so i will go to the vs code now so we have to specify the this particular path firstly we have to enter the so we, firstly we have to specify the cypress followed by that e2e folder and inside the e2e folder we have the first cypress test.cy.js file so let's enter this particular path now so here i will bring up the cmd and inside the double quotation i will enter the cypress followed by that backslash then i will enter e2e backslash then i will enter the file name so here i'll say first cypress test dot cy dot js so that's it so let me maximize this command prompt now so it will take few seconds so based on the your internet connection So simply I will close this previous uh, browser and uh, Cypress test runner. And if you see here, so it is started uh, started listening to this particular uh, 
host and the, this particular port number. And if you see here, so it is started displaying the all the details and it has opened the Microsoft Edge browser now. And if you see the message here, so Microsoft Edge is being controlled by automated test software. And it is loading all the tests which are there inside the first Cypress test.cy.js file. And automatically it is selected the edge over here. So it is loading. So in my case, internet is a bit slow. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. And if you look at here, so our test execution started. And also it is printed the log which we have created earlier. And it is navigated to the youtube.com and it will search with the JavaScript by test test stock. So that's it guys. And if you see here, so it has printed all the details. So what is the Cypress version, which is the browser. So Edge browser, which has the 117 version, node version, and what are the specs files? In my case, only one spec file is found. And if I come down, so this is a suit name and this is our test name. And if I come down, so here it is showing total number of tests. Currently we have only one test and that is getting passed here. And if you look at the count also, so it is listed under the passing. And also you can see the duration, how long it took for the test execution. And if I come down, so here it is listed down all the spec files. So in our case, only one spec, spec file is present. So you can try to create the multiple dot JavaScript files and you can try to add the multiple test methods. So now I will try to run the same test in the Chrome browser. So this time I will update. So here I will replace the edge with the Chrome. So that's it. So it will take few seconds to bring up the test runner of the Cypress. So it is started listening to this particular uh, host and the port number and it has launched the test runner now. And if you see here, so it is uh, displaying Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. And also here you can see the Chrome is got selected and also you can observe the version of the Chrome. And our test is getting executed on the Chrome browser. And it is searching with the JavaScript by tester stock. And also it is finished the test execution. So if I go up and if you see here, so this is a Chrome version, sorry guys. So this is the Cypress version and here you can see the Chrome browser and followed by that it is specified the version and node version and you can see the number of spec files here and this is a complete path of the .js file and if I come down so this is a suit name so this is our test name and here you can see that total number of seconds it took for the test execution and coming to the ta results table so this is the total number of tests so in our case only one test is there and our test is getting passed and here also you can see the total number of second seconds that's the duration of the this particular test execution and after that you can see the which spec file it, it got executed and at last you can see the all the spec file so if you are executing multiple spec files you can see all the spec files over here so in our case only one spec file is there so that spec file is listed here so on the right side also you can see the total number of tests and also our test is getting passed 